and I know it's been a while, I would need you guys to do one thing for me, which is to, ah, I can't sing, my voice is gone. I need you all to put your voices together in one chorus and sing the iconic Atrioc Reddit recap song. It's, it's time for Reddit with Atrioc. So let's go see what memes are at the top. Are this week's posts fire or flops? So go join r slash Atrioc. Welcome to the first Atrioc Reddit recap in a minute. Win or fail, what do you guys think? Disney logged into a dead guy's account to plug the new movie. Chadwick Boseman's account is tweeting Wakanda forever four hours ago. That is... <laughs> At least my stripper idea is the least... <laughs> The least offensive idea of the night for marketing. <laughs> and so we thought, okay, <laughs> what if we independently find two strippers instead of, you know, they're having to strip or anything, we make them compete in a game of Smash Brothers. <laughs> it's melee. You have to find your champion. Oh, okay. I didn't want to talk about this. <laughs> Apparently, if you look closely, I don't necessarily... <laughs> I didn't necessarily tie my shoes in what society would deem the appropriate way. I am a bit of a, a sigma. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I did it differently. Yeah, I wrapped it around the back. <laughs> so these shoes were a gift. There's a, there's a friend of mine who worked at Twitch who now works at Discord. And apparently for some reason, Discord gave him an official sneaker budget. <laughs> so we made these like fucking sick custom leather Discord sneakers, and he sent them to mostly big influencers, but me, because I know him. <laughs> but the problem is, they are fucking molded to the feet, which means I cannot put them on without a fucking shoehorn. I have to buy this goofy little fucking wooden shoehorn every time we're fucking riding up to go out. <laughs> I gotta be fucking shaving this in the shoe. Everyone's giving me shit for it. So early on Saturday when we had some money, I think we went shopping to get like some fresh, you know, some fresh clothes. We are all at the, and I, I'm changing. Like I buy some new shorts. I actually buy these shorts. Sheesh. I realized that I can't change into the shorts without taking my shoes off. So in front of all the boys, I have to ask the fucking lady there, he, um, do you guys have a shoehorn? <laughs> the point is we saw this fan and he could have cropped this out, but chose not to. <laughs> and for that, I'll never forgive him. Designed a groom's cake for Big A. <laughs> my friend this is cute don't get me wrong i don't <laughs> the elden ring death screen with chat making fun of me while ari drags me away as i'm dressed in a clown outfit with golden grams there's a glizzy arrangement across the side i think this would be tough to explain to the old family especially her family <laughs> When I'm in an abandoning a game after streaming at twice competition and my opponent is Atrioc. I don't do this. I, I swear to God, the person who fucking posted this is a fucking inscription frog. Because really, the only game that I've really abandoned is inscription. Possibly Arkham. Paper Mario's still going. Death's Door, really? Long Dark is not abandoned. I've played it many times. Cyberpunk? Really? Cyberpunk? The problem with the stream is that I'm not playing more Cyberpunk 2077. Everybody abandoned it. The world abandoned it. Oh, GTA. Okay, you guys keep listening more games. Atrio. <laughs> Deathloop. Okay, shut the fuck up. <laughs> These are wise choices I've made. For the good of the stream. I brought some friends to work for the coffee cow, but he wasn't there, sadly. You photoshopped cows in front of the NVIDIA building. This got 500... 49 individual human beings to upvote it. 500 people thought this was worth sharing with the world. Download. Atriox wedding fit leaked. I did one minion stream one time. There is no minions connection. It was a three hour sponsored segment one time. I, super lucky star, a broke college student with $6 to their name, lost five dice rolls to win $100. I'm never picking the number four ever again, and I'll be booking a flight to Vegas to cash out my luck. Don't I can relate, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. All right, so I, you guys don't know craps, but listen, the whole point of craps is don't roll a seven. If you roll anything other than a seven, it's good. 
Stans, the entire weekend was the fucking cooler. Stans would walk up to the table, instantly roll a seven, every time. Kill the entire event of the table, everyone would lose money. We figured out that you can bet what my brother bets, which is against the table. You can bet that a seven will show up. It's considered bad luck, bad juju. But when stands went up on Saturday, we just did that. We would bet against stands. We would all make money. Stands would bet against himself. <laughs> We'd all make money. But on Sunday, I don't know who said it first, but I said it the loudest and the most, which I regret. It was that stands is due. <laughs> this simple concept that, wait, stands has been doing so bad. He must be due. He's going to be on a fucking heater. And we'd all say it. This is the one. Stans is due. There's no way he'd be unlucky again. And so we'd bet dummy racks. <laughs> and then he would instantly roll a seven. And we'd lose all our money. And we'd look each other in the eyes. And our eyes would light up. And we'd bet on Stans. And I swear to God, Stans didn't have one good roll the whole fucking weekend. We lost a lot, a lot of money on Stans' rolls. The Virgin Blue Link versus the Chad Red Hyperlink. Celebrities who have attended ASU include Jimmy Kimmel, David Spade, Linda Carter, Ludwig Ogren, and Twitch streamer Atriok. <laughs> it says Atriok and not Brandon Ewing. <laughs> I submitted an article for Atriok like two months ago and it got declined after two days because of a lack of relevance. <laughs> All right. Cool, Wikipedia. <laughs> Draft Atriok. Submission declined by McMatter. Oh, really, McMatter? Really? You haven't seen the Core 6 Gambit? Arizona State University? All right, let's see what we got. Alumni? Oh. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it's so much worse than not being on there. there you, you guys are going to get it removed, by the way. <laughs> Giga Chat Atriok? Okay, this is just... <laughs> The post isn't really funny, but the report is. Dude, there is literally no content here. None. It's not even a good Dolly Mini. It's just the word HROT at the top. <laughs> Fucking tell him, King. I like being that passionate about it. Yes. HROT hates moms, the squeak wool. If Brandon GH Ewing wants to shit on any more of my life's work, you can show him this one. Oh. Is this the fucking GIF mom? Is this the fucking mom that made the Luna GIF commercial? Oh my God, rent free lady. Rent free in your head. Get over it. I made a joke about the fucking Luna peanut butter commercial. One time. Okay, oh, it's a coffee ad. <laughs> it's a Folgers ad. All right, well, I'm off to a bad start. <laughs> the premise of the ad is that these zoomers are looking down on you for buying folders they're judging you but you the enlightened consumer don't give a shit you don't give a damn about your reputation <laughs> and then you're loading up with a cart full of coffee. A cow's worth, really. Woo, look at that coffee. Folgers the coffee cow. Uh, I'll be honest with you. If I'm being dead honest, you can cut this part. I loved it. It was great. We're friends again. If I'm being honest, though, this feels like an ad the client loved. This feels like an ad that I don't think did a ton for Folgers' brain. And, but I think that Folgers loved it. So that's the real point. I mean, if you're an ad agency, what the real point is to get the client to love it. Like, squeeze me, and this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life, and this has way too many upvotes. This is horrendous. This is nightmare fuel. My boyfriend has become addicted to Atrioc. I thought his love for Atrioc was cute at first, but this is getting ridiculous. Today, seeing the end on the Netflix loading screen made him say NVIDIA without even thinking. <laughs> A while back, he started having me play balloons with him. He never mentioned what got him into balloons. I found out it was Atrock when he showed me a balloons parody of Courtesy the Red, White, and Blue. <laughs> he told me he wanted to make some parodies for Atrock's stream. I loved how excited he was. I even helped him make cover art for the parodies. This is where the problem really started. After uploading his first parody, he was constantly checking his phone for Atrock to go live. <laughs> he stopped mid-sex to make sure a notification wasn't Atrock going live because he didn't want to miss Atrock reacting to his parody. <laughs> 
both of the parody songs he made ended up in the Popathon album. Oh shit. Oh, they were good then. Oh, you should stop mid-sex. I'm happy for him, but now he won't stop listening to Bloon's parodies. He listens to them while driving, while showering, while cleaning. He went as far as to sing the Quincy Connection while we were having sex. <laughs> I always figured the only viewers of mine that get sex are the parody creators. <laughs> they are the top of the pyramid. Uh, all I need is advice. Are all HROC viewers like this? Yes, every one of them. How do I, oh, they don't, except for the sex. <laughs> How do I get him to stop? If I hear him say, well, one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. First thing you have to understand is there's no changing, okay? He's changed forever. He's going to be saying cranky crunchers come, come, come Christmas time. The only thing you can do is live with it. In fact, what I recommend doing is probably doing a co-op Reddit video. <laughs> the username is Suffering GF. <laughs> Big A's laugh in his new video reminded me of something. <laughs> That's actually pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the new cat, the most dependable cat on the road. What is this? 2022 A truck apocalypse. Will he finish Elden Ring? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, this actually rules! This is actually so good! Where's Ludwig? <laughs> Ludwig didn't get the best, most dependable cat on the road. <laughs> that stands. How the fuck did you get stands, dude? How did you get stands to record for this? Say it against that line. Ludwig didn't get the best, most dependable cat on the road. <laughs> Golden Graham. <laughs> Sheesh. Looks like we made it. Chevy Silverado. Chevy Rusty. Bravo! Holy shit, that was a great ad. Let me get the cat. Looks like we made it. Hey, Shavster. Shavster.